Hey, my name is Zeus Tapato, a writer for Healing Maps. And let's talk about the idea of a never ending trip. A psychedelic trip that never ends? One dose to last you a lifetime? Like some psychedelic Willy Wonka? Well, tripping forever is not as entertaining or exciting as you think. It's a reported condition called hallucinogen perception persisting disorder or HPPD. HPPD is a reported condition in which alterations to perception occur long after a person takes psychedelics. We're talking days, weeks, months, sometimes years after the initial experience. While hallucinogen perception persisting disorder may be associated with psychedelics and often with LSD, there are a few reports of HPPD happening with non-psychedelic substances like cannabis. It's also important to mention that science knows very little about HPPD, and the disorder is rarely reported among psychedelic users. The criteria for an HPPD diagnosis is pretty strict, mostly because the reported visual disturbances that persist after a psychedelic trip must not be the result of any other existing cognitive or visual disorder. That means even if you think you have HPPD, to be clinically diagnosed with this disorder, you need to take several cognitive, behavioral, and visual tests in order to rule out every other disorder that's associated with extraneous visual artifacts and distortions. And speaking of visual artifacts, HPPD consists almost entirely of visual artifacts. Things like elementary visuals, basic geometric shapes, and variations in color brightness or fluctuations in object size. People with HPPD don't really experience complex visuals like the manifestation of objects without any corresponding stimulus. The creation of entire complex objects out of thin air is generally called an acid flashback! Both HPPD and acid flashbacks are extremely rare, and some believe that these disorders may not be similar. However, the existence of HPPD perhaps predates the concept of HPPD itself. And what does that mean? The earliest occurrence was a reference in 1967 by Edwin Robbins in which he reported that 32% of people that were admitted to psychiatric hospitals due to LSD had a spontaneous return of perceptual distortions or feelings of depersonalization similar to those experienced under the influence of LSD. And again in 1971, where a very small population of participants in an LSD study reported recurring undulations of their visual field, which sounds similar to the reported symptoms of HPPD. The problem with these diagnoses from the 60s and 70s is we don't know if these people had some pre-existing psychosis or maladaptive cognitive or visual disorder that was responsible for these visual disturbances. Greater research is needed into the HPPD phenomenon before we can fully determine what it's all about or what it's not about. 